What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm bringing you my in-depth, up close and personal review of the 2015 WWE Shop Spinner Championship replica title belt. That was a mouthful. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen, I did get this championship for Christmas. It was featured in my Christmas haul 2020 video, as well as I did an unboxing video for it. This is the follow-up video to the unboxing where I actually give a good review of the uh, WWE Championship spin about. Basically, I'm gonna be going up close and personal, what I think of it, how accurate it is to the real thing. Is it worth the price? Uh, I actually got it uh, for Christmas and I believe it cost £235 on eBay. Uh, I, this is a second-hand version. I didn't get it brand new from WWE Shop. This is second-hand used. However, it's in immaculate condition. Uh, good enough condition for me to do a, uh, a justified review of it, I guess you could say. So, the structure of this video is going to be as follows. I am going to take you now uh, into the other room. We're going to look at the championship uh, I'm going to show you all of the plates, you know, look at the strap, the simulated leather strap, show you different things about the plates uh, that are different um, to the actual real ring used spin about. Then what I'll probably do is um, do a round the waist over shoulder shot uh, and go through all of that. And then what we'll do at the end is probably just, you know, have a look, sit back here and uh, talk about whether you guys should actually invest in buying one of these spinners for yourself, whether I think it is a justified purchase. So yeah, let's move right into the other room, get up close and personal with the spinner belt. See you in a second. Okay guys, so here we are. I have the WWE Championship spinner belt laid out on the floor. What we're gonna be doing right now is basically just getting up close, not that close, uh, but getting up close and personal, looking in depth at all of the minor details on this championship uh, and pointing out some of the things that I've noticed about it that are inaccurate. So that's essentially what we're going to be doing. We're going to be starting off on the main plate where the actual spin is. Then we're going to be moving over to the side plates and then the outer side plates. And then once we've done all of that, we will cover the strap. So let's get right into covering the main plate. Okay, guys, so we're starting off on the main plate. Now, real quick, before we talk about the comparison, getting in depth with the actual real belt, uh, I just want to compare it to the other replica version of the spinner belt, which is the one made by Figures Toy Company. Uh, WWE actually started producing all of their replica belts themselves after 2013 this is the 2015 spinner before that it was the figures toy company one uh firstly the plating it's a bit darker gold on this one then also this one unlike the real and the figures ink one actually has spaces underneath the champ and the eagle which is quite annoying as it's not one big piece like the other belts but you know it's not make or break especially not for me anyway and then finally uh both spinners had this problem unlike the real belt the edges are plated in gold plating not nickel plating. The real WWE spinner had nickel plating on the edges. Now, there was a trick you could do with this thing called Neverdoll, which is like an abrasive polish, uh, where you could actually polish down really hard and rough on the edges, and it would, uh, like, turn into nickel plating, like a sort of a chrome nickel. And uh, that would work. I don't know how well it works on the 2015 version, this version specifically, so let me know if it does. Uh, but, yeah, I might do that in the future, if I think it's going to work. But if not, we're just going to have to put up with the gold edges. It's not that much of a uh, like a big deal. And then finally, the final difference between the Figures Inc. and the WWE Shop is this right here. The WWE Champion side plate. Now, the spinner belt in real life had a many versions, many different versions. Some had a WWE Champion side plate with a red gem. Uh, there was a SmackDown side plate. There was a Monday Night Raw side plate. There was a WWE Champion side plate with black painting. There's been loads of different things on the spinner. But the Figures Inc. one, basically, they sold a Monday Night Raw raw side plate that had a little padlock that was the one that they sold on their replica whereas personally i prefer this version which is the wwe champion side plate on both sides i prefer it because it's more symmetrical now one last thing about this belt before we move on to looking in the details in the main plate and it's this these side plates right here the outer side plates a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the time for some reason WWE used to switch these around. So sometimes these gems would be on the outside and the WWE logo would be on the outside. Uh, no, these gems would be on the inside, sorry, and the WWE logo would be on the outside. Sometimes it would be flipped. 
So this side plate theoretically would just be on this side. This side plate would be on this side. It really depends on when in time you're looking at the championship. But looking at photos, uh, I believe that my one is pretty accurate. I think it's right. I might have a switch around in the future just to see which way I personally prefer. After all, it will be ring accurate either way. So main plate, ladies and gents. The etching on this main plate is deep. Underneath the spinner, the etching is really nice. It catches the light nicely. You know, look at that pattern. I don't really know what you call the pattern. It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a, a bush, I guess you could say, like a rose bush sort of pattern uh, with all the swirls. But I don't know the actual name for it. I am into the belts, but um, you know, I, I don't know names of different tooling and patterns very well uh, for different types of etching. But there we go. That etching is very nice, obviously. All of the plastic stones surrounding the main plate and in the main plate are just that. They are plastic. They are not actual stones. Uh, so you can get this restoned with real Swarovskis or cubic zirconias if you wanted to. I believe there is an inaccuracy on the colour of the stones here. Uh, at one point, the spinner may have white stones around here, but I distinctively remember them having yellow gemstones, uh, a lot like this colour. Uh, of these stones right here surrounding the W. I may be wrong, uh, but I, I very vividly remember that, so I think I'm right on that one. Up here, we've got the eagle, and one thing I never knew about the eagle until I actually got this replica in hand is that the wings are plated differently at the edges. As you can see, we have silver plating fading into the gold, and then on the eagle head, it's silver as well. I used to think this was just an all-gold eagle. Uh, we've got the little... I don't really know what you'd call that. Would you say it was a crown at the top? That's very nice. The champ, I know that annoys a lot of people. It should say champion, not champ. But obviously this belt was made for John Cena and he is the champ. Now, another thing that I didn't notice about this belt until I got the replica was actually the underside of the nameplate is plated in nickel as well. So we have a gold nameplate and then all of the underside of it is actually nickel plated, which is very, very cool. Main plate, very nice looking. The spinner works very, very nicely. When laid down, you guys will find that the spinner is silent. But if you start to move the belt around, that's when you get the clanging of the metal. Uh, it's not going to do it now, is it? Just because I want to show you it on camera. But uh, you'll see what I mean if I'm like, if I hold it like this and then spin it maybe. Yeah, can, can you hear that? You get that rough sound sort of as it spins around. You just get that, that metal clanging sound is the only way I can really describe it. Uh, sorry about the camera being shaky then. But yeah, spinner right there works very nicely. Now, I've seen a lot of people, they like to stop the spinner. Uh, so you can do that either by removing the screw or and removing like the magnet or whatever it is on the back. Uh, personally, if I wanted to do it, I would just get a little piece of cardboard and put it underneath the spinner and turn it around so it sat under the champ so you couldn't see it. But I don't mind it. You know, when it's in my cabinet, it doesn't sit perfectly flat, but I'm not too bothered by it. So that is the main plate of the spinner. Let's move on to the WWE championship side plate uh we will be looking at them both but obviously they are identical so we're going to be looking uh more in depth at this side now wwe champ is what it says wwe champion now this has always bothered me because the champion font is actually different to the font used for the champ i would rather they have you know stuck with stones the whole way through and wrote uh, in this font with these stones, champion. But I don't know how well that would have fitted. So black writing, uh, black paint it is. Well, is it paint? We don't really know. It is an older WWE shop replica, which makes me think it is paint, not them plastic inserts that they use these days. WWE champion. We've got the green sort of leaf uh, stone design. I've never really known what this is. I believe it's a smaller eagle, but uh, if you guys know, then please be sure to tell me because I've never really known what this actual area is is on the real one uh we did see on these stones that uh one time that they they didn't have any stones or they had clear stones or something but uh you know i'm not too bothered about this i think at one point it did have green stones which does mean it is accurate so i'm not too bothered about that uh the general pattern of this you know it sort of flows it's the same general like outer shape as the main plate it's just a little less uh wide and obviously shrunken down to fit a side plate but if you look uh quickly at the general outer shape, you can see that they follow the same curve top. You then, you know, curves inwards, the curves at the bottom, curves inwards to go back up top again, uh, which is cool that both side plates, that you know, they are very, very similar to the main plate. 
Then we get to the final plate, which is the outer side plate. Uh, as you can see, it says WWE World Wrestling Entertainment. We've got the old WWE Scratch logo. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of little uh, copyright logos. I think they are all the, you know, the R logo on this belt. It's on the main plate as well. You can see it's quite hidden uh, because it's on the actual gems. If I zoom away, you know, you'll struggle to see it. But it is there, right there, the R uh, but yeah, you know, obviously we've got a lot of that on the main plate. You're going to have to expect it because it is WWE's logo. But yeah, once again, you know, this is this is the side plate that sort of sticks out a little bit. I don't think it shouldn't be there. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. But obviously where it doesn't follow the design of the main plate, if it was a smaller version of this, I think it would look weird. So I'm glad they've just gone with like a sort of curved squared design for this one. We've got one half uh, with the gems, the other half with World Wrestling Entertainment. Exactly the same on this side both side plates are identical if i wanted to unscrew it and switch them around you wouldn't see any difference at all now this side plate is actually uh opposite it is mirrored compared to this one so as you can see right there they are mirrored both of the stones sit on the outside however uh it has a mirrored design showing that you know if you was to like literally mirror this side plate and flip it over like that it would turn into that side plate, which is kind of cool, uh, of the general design. But I think that's all there is for me to talk about when it comes to the plates. Let's move on to talking about the actual strap itself. Right, so we're going to start off on the actual snap box. Now, the male snaps uh, are these ones right here. It does have a longer snap box for the male snaps than it does the female snaps. If I move the belt over here, it's actually an eight by five snap set which is kind of long this is probably the longest strap i have other than my fandu big gold very very long strap especially compared to the current network logo belts of today uh but i don't mind you know it, it meant that it could fit bigger guys nicely uh guys like john cena triple h you know them guys that held this version of the championship it fit them uh with a lot of wiggle room as well so it wasn't too tight but it wasn't too small either now where this is an old a replica now it does have the stitched on not even simulated leather tooling on the snap box it's literally just a stitched on snap box meaning you do not get any flexibility in this snap box whatsoever which is unfortunate but it's to be expected now we do have some simulated tooling on the actual edges of the snaps which is kind of cool you know i don't mind that we're going to move along now i believe this is a clamshell tooling design but if it is wrong uh then let me know this is all stamped into the simulated leather strap it's not hand tooled we've got the stitching going around of course which is a telltale sign that it isn't a real leather strap uh over here as you can see I don't know what you call this. It's sort of outer snap box tooling, uh, but it's very nice. It is a very nice design, uh, sort of a floral pattern. Again, like the etching, uh, it matches that nicely, but I don't know what you would actually call that. Now, the clamshell tooling, I believe that's what it is, so I'm just going to keep calling it the clamshell tooling. I, I think I'm right on that one. Uh, it literally is just continuous on the entire strap, if you look right there. Continues and flows all the way to the other side where we have this floral sort of pattern tooling being replicated once again on this side. Over here, now there was many versions of the spinner that actually had a silver tip. The replica does not come with a silver tip. It's also inaccurate because the actual snaps are gold plated, not nickel plated like the real one, but that's to be expected. We do not come with a tip because in the later days of the spinner championship, Probably, I want to say, from from when the Miz won it onwards, they actually ditched the silver tip, so it does not come with one of them. I'm actually going to flip the championship over now, which is something I never really like doing, but as I'm on carpet, it's okay. As we can see, the backing. Now, the back of this belt, obviously, there is no leather backing because it is a replica simulated leather strap. Normally, if you was to get it re-leathered, just like the real one, these would be covered up. All of these screws would be covered up. The only thing you would see are these snaps right here, uh, all covered up with a leather backing. Now, to certificate the authenticity, we have the WWE Authentic Strap. Underneath this, can you see that little sort of ring? That is actually what makes the belt spin. In there, you've got the screws, the magnets, everything that makes the spinner work. But it's an official, authentic WWE Shop 2015 replica. We've got the WWE Network Logo Authenticity Holographic Sticker, a choking hazard sign uh, and normally these stickers wear off after a little bit of use which shows to me that this belt literally has not been used but yeah other than that guys that is my in-depth look i think now it's time for me to do the 
over the shoulder test and then finally get into the uh, the final verdict. Let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now, apologies for the lighting in this part of the video. This is the over the shoulder test to show you strap flexibility. Uh, once again, simulated leather strap. It's not gonna be great, but because the plates are quite heavy, it does weigh the strap down a fair amount. And uh, as you can see, it does sit over my shoulder quite nicely, to be fair. So that's the uh, that's the long side, the male snap box, where the strap is very, very long. We're gonna flip it round and show it over the shoulder on the female snap box. This side is not as floppy as you can see, because there's less weight holding it down. Realistically, it should sit just like that, nice and floppy. It should stick to my back, but no, it does stick up a little bit. It's not like the uh, <laughs> the WWE Big Gold 2mm replica, which literally sits on your shoulder like that, which is horrendous. So the metal replicas, of course, you're gonna get more flexibility because they have more weight on the plates. So that was the over the shoulder. Now what we're gonna do is look at it around my waist, see how it looks. Uh, is it gonna be nice and snug? Is it gonna be too loose? We'll have a look. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, my face isn't actually gonna be very much in this segment of the video. You're just gonna be seeing my general waist area. Here's the WWE Championship. Now for those of you that don't know, when you're putting a championship belt on, you put it on from the back like this. Uh, obviously, <laughs> the, no, the new WWE TV belts, you don't need to do this because they got Velcro, but traditionally, if you've got snaps, it's easier to just wrap it around your waist, you put it onto the setting so you have a little bit of room, but not too much, snap it up and then spin it round. It's harder on the flatter replicas because they have a flat main plate. When it's curved, it's easier to spin. But here's the WWE Championship spinner around my waist. Uh, I've done it so there was a little bit of room, pretty much just enough to slip your hand in. Not too much, not too loose, but you do have a bit of room to, you know, jump around a little bit. It's gonna sit quite tightly, but it will also move at the same time. I just contradicted myself, that doesn't make too much sense, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's not really, really tight, but it's not gonna like slip around and fall off. Here it is around my waist, give it a little spin. Uh, once again, if you wanna look at the back, I have it, literally, I have it, all of the snaps done quite nicely. Uh, the longer snap box fits pretty well, uh, so it's not hanging off too much, that's because I don't have a very small waist, you know, I've got quite a big waist, uh, so it fits me very, very nicely. But there you go, spin about round the waist. Uh, that was pretty much all I needed to show you. Now I'm gonna take it off. We're gonna sit back at my main like desk chair setup and we're gonna give my final verdict. Okay guys, now by no means at all do I consider myself a replica belt expert or in general a belt expert. For that, you're gonna have to go to guys like Paul Martin Belts, Hazard F5, Dan McMahon, there's loads. I'm in a fair amount of belt groups on Facebook so I like to think that I somewhat know what I'm talking about when it comes to the championships. This, once again, is the 2015 WWE Shop replica spinner belt. Now, of course, like any replica, it doesn't hold a candle to the real thing. Um, in sizing, it is a bit smaller than the real thing, just by general measurements of like photos that have been leaked. And essentially, my final verdict. Should you buy this WWE Championship? Absolutely. If you're a fan of the spinner like I am, you know, a lot of people don't like it, a lot of people despise it. If you're a fan uh, like me, then I 100% recommend buying it. And why not? Do you know, I got it for a relatively cheap price of £230. Well, I got it for free. It was a Christmas present. But, you know, the people that bought it for me, they got it for £230. On WWE Shop, I believe right now it is £385. I might be wrong on that one. I don't know what that is in US dollars, but if you're interested, just go to wweshop.com. For you guys in Europe, it's wweeuroshop.com. And you can go and buy one by yourself. Now, if you're not educated in the belt game, I do not recommend buying from eBay. eBay is a no-go, so is Wish, so is everything like that. Buy strictly on belt groups on Facebook or on WWE Shop, unless you know what you're looking for exactly. There is a lot of bootlegs out there. Now, the Spinner Print in particular has a lot of terrible bootlegs out there. Uh, just to post the picture right now on screen, this is a terrible bootleg of the WWE Championship Spinner. Whoever made this, you, you should be ashamed. Uh, you should not be bootlegging belts of the Spinner. And yeah, once again, guys, WWE Championship Spinner. This is based off of the most recent version we saw on TV. Pretty much the one that The Rock held, I guess you could say. The final version. There's been many versions of the Spinner. We've had a SmackDown side plate. We've had a Raw side plate. We've had a black swoosh. We've had a dark red swoosh. We've had a red gem. We've had different kinds of gems. It's changed. The Spinner's evolved so many times. But this is a pretty good hybrid of uh, what The Rock 
uh, and like war, what you know, the main conventional things on the spinner were. So I 100% recommend picking it up if you're a fan. Uh, did you enjoy my review? There's probably a lot better, a lot more in-depth reviews out there from guys like Hazard that know what they're talking about. But other than that, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. I hope I've helped some of you guys come to a decision if you've been on the fence about buying this championship. Hopefully more replica belts to come in the future. But once again, this has been my review of the WWE Championship Spinner Belt. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Please be sure to give this video a like, comment and subscribe. I'm sorry it was a long one and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.